Technique number 10 is to practice power sleep. Getting sufficient sleep each and every night is critical to the anti-aging regimen because as you sleep, your cells undergo a process of repair unlike any other time during the day. A great night's sleep reduces things like eye puffiness, it reduces cortisol levels in the body, it increases your body's natural secretion of growth hormone, which greatly enhances your longevity and vitality. So I'm going to make a few suggestions here that will dramatically affect the depth of your sleep. And here's a list. The number one cause of a restless sleep is because you've got things on your mind. So if you make a list of what you need to do the next day, write it all down, keep a pen and paper near your bedside just in case you think of anything else, and then write that stuff down. When you write things down on paper, it actually is giving your brain a signal that it no longer needs to retain that thought and it can move on to something else and it can relax. Well, how about this one? Don't watch television. Don't listen to the radio, especially the news before you go to sleep, and certainly don't fall asleep with the TV or the radio on. Anything that you listen to or anything that you allow your mind to ingest 30 to 60 minutes before you fall asleep is what your subconscious mind is going to primarily be thinking about for the first few hours of your sleep. It's imperative that you train your mind to relax as much as possible when you're sleeping, and we're going to get into a few more little things to help you do that right now. The third thing on your sleep list is to read some inspirational or self-growth material for at least 30 minutes prior to bed. Your goal here is to fill your mind with inspirational thoughts before falling asleep so that the last thought that you have before drifting off is an uplifting thought as opposed to the stressful thoughts that most people fall asleep to which cause them to toss and turn all night long. And the fourth thing on that list is to make your room as dark as possible. You see, the body was made to sleep when it was dark out. The darker the room, the more potential there is for a deep sleep. And then let's take that a step further, and we'll say to please make your room as silent as possible too. Turn off all the electrical devices in that room and do anything you can to keep it quiet because every time you hear a noise, even though you might not wake up from that noise, it's still moving you from a deep sleep to a less deep sleep. And the deeper the sleep you can get yourself into and the longer you can get yourself to stay there, the more chance your body has to fully recuperate and fully recharge for the next day. Here's the next thing on that list. Don't eat for several hours before going to bed. When there's undigested food in your stomach, your body is forced to focus on digesting that food rather than being focused on repairing your body and your mind. And that's what sleep's all about. You have to repair your body and your mind every single night with sleep. Otherwise, the next day you're starting out less productive than you started the previous day. The next thing on that list is don't take drugs that are supposed to help you fall asleep unless, of course, they've been prescribed by your physician. Most artificial sleeping aids don't do anything other than deaden your senses. You see, the goal of sleep, like I said before, is to give your body the time and the means that it needs to repair itself and to prepare for the coming day. When you drug yourself to sleep, every system in your body is slowed down, including all the systems that are responsible for repairing you. Now let's move on to the next technique to look and feel years and years younger.